Welcome back to our Forbes Shire Council planning portal tutorials. Today we will be checking the status of a development application. First we will begin by signing into our application account, the same you used to apply for your original DA. The portal will open on your current active work. These are the DAs that are still to be lodged or are under assessment. You can see the progress of the application under this status bar. To enter into the application, click on the reference number in blue. Today we'll be looking at our completed work to see the status of our determined DA and look for our approval documents. Your recent documents can also be found to the left of the screen. We'll click on our reference number to enter into the application. Up the top, we can again see our reference number and DA number. Below, in green, is the DA life cycle. Depending on how far through the process you are, this bar will be lit up in green to let you know which steps are completed. Below are the tabs to show you further details of your DA. Under application details, you can see all the information you entered when lodging your initial application, followed by assessment information entered by one of Council's development and planning team staff members. Here you will find your determination as well, which is the decision by Council to either approve or reject your DA. All correspondence regarding your DA will come to the applicant email and on some occasions you may be asked for additional information before determination, so keep an eye out for these emails. Back up at the top, if we click onto documents, you'll be able to see both the documents you have uploaded as well as from Council. This is where you'll find your notice of determination, as well as your stamped plans. The pay of details will have all the applicants billing information. Action summary will give a more in-depth re recount to the progress of your application. This includes when you lodged the application and when the DA was determined by council. Analytics shows a timeline of events and related cases will show any certificates or related modifications if they exist. If you now need to su submit an application for a certificate or section 68, this can be done through the request related application button. Here you can submit your construction, principal certifying authority, occupation or subdivision certificates. The portal will pre-fill as much information as it can and then the process is pretty much the same as when you applied for your development application. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call council just in case. When you're finished, don't forget to log off. Another handy website for tracking your DA and other local DAs is the New South Wales Planning Portal DA Tracker. This will show all the current DAs in New South Wales. As you will see, this is the application tracker here. As it's such a large website, it often takes a moment to load. As you can see, there are quite a few development applications in progress in New South Wales, but we'll scroll in and find the particular area we're looking for. Here's Forbes. When you find these DAs, you can see the basic details of the DA, including its type and the stage is at, as well as the location. If you require further information, please contact the development and planning team at Council. Feel free to keep scrolling around to see what other applications are happening in your neighbourhood. Down the side panel, there are more DAs, however this covers a much larger area. You may click find a property to find a more specific location. Thank you for joining us for another planning portal tutorial at Forbes Shire Council.